we need to be able to navigate successfully out of the current crisis without adding more problems in terms of uh, <clears throat> sustainability and going green. Let me give you some quick seven points on what are the Indian energy strategy is. And I encapsulate these seven points in the words of the Prime Minister who said, accelerating our efforts to move towards a gas-based economy, we're already moving from 6% to 15% of our overall energy mix. Cleaner use of fossil fuels, particularly petroleum and coal. Greater reliance on domestic sources to drive biofuels. Achieving the renewables target of 450 GW by 2030, increasing the contribution of electricity to decarbonize mobility, moving into the emerging fuels including hydrogen, specifically green hydrogen, digital innovation across all the energy systems. The Prime Minister has demonstrated time and time again that the government, and he particularly, personally, is responsive to the needs of the people. There is sensitivity. The Prime Minister said that it is his dream that by 2022, Every Indian, no matter where he or she lives, should have a roof over their heads. Target was one crore, we've already done one crore, 22 lakhs. If you combine that with the target for the rural sector, it's over three crores. Challenges also offering opportunities. And I think what you see Clearly in evidence is that many of these challenges have resulted in India seizing the opportunity. The healthcare se sector is a case in point. The vaccine story is a case in point. The India story today and what you are witnessing here in Davos, in terms of the attention and elsewhere. Yeah. You have, you, whether you, it is a fund, the International Monetary Fund's assessment, other assessments, it's not that there are no challenges, yeah. but either we have the ability to transform those challenges into opportunities, as Piyush said, which is what, what the government is beginning to reinforce mm -hmm. each time.